Pie Flare family, it's Kim. And if you're a teacher like me, you know that there's one thing you always wish you had more of, and that is time to get through all your curriculum. I need more time. Time, 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 time. Yes, that's what I want. So our sixth grade math curriculum, one of our last units that we seem to never have time for, is geometry. So I have a fix for you. Right on. Excellent work, dude. Excellent work. I've tried this, so you don't have to. I call this holiday wrap up. I guarantee you, your students are gonna have some fun. You play some holiday music and they will learn how to calculate volume and surface area. And all the while, they'll be wrapping presents. I start the lesson with plain boxes and I set out different sizes in a group setting and they work in partners and they have a handout that they complete saying which box are they measuring um, and they're calculating the volume. Um, after they do that and they've checked their answers, then the fun part comes in. I hand them a roll of wrapping paper and they get to cut and they use the squares on the back to create a net of the box and then they get to wrap their presents. And when they calculate the net for the box, they are calculating surface area and then I give them bows and ribbon to decorate. See, all you need is some wrapping paper and some boxes, and then let the kids have some fun. So what are the pros and cons of this activity? Well, pro number one, your students are gonna learn how to calculate volume and surface area. At the same time? At the same time. Two, they're going to remember it because it was hands-on, it's holiday fun, um, and they're working with partners. Whoever you choose is your partner. Uh, I always choose partners that are wrong. We should probably choose partners again. All right, three cons of this would be you do need to purchase some wrapping paper and bring boxes, and I like to add the ribbons and bows as well. Two, the second con would be you have to trust your kids with scissors. <laughs> Look out! You're scaring me! They're running with scissors. They're always sticky. <laughs> and that can be scary, okay? Uh, I'm being very honest. So you really need to monitor the students. And three is clean up. But get the kids to help you. They made the mess. They clean it up. There you have it. Your holiday wrap-up geometry lesson. Memorable, fun, and engaging. That's a wrap.